Hi guys, I'm back. We got some stuff back in stock over at the Spellbinder shop. And that just proves that Spellbinders listens to you because a lot of the stuff that sold out during the initial release is back in stock. Um, the Better Press Sentiments, if you guys missed out, the Always You Timeless Sentiment press plates are back in stock, um, as well as the New Beginnings Timeless Sentiments press plates. This went with the Timeless um, collection, which were those beautiful um, dyes that were kind of lacy looking that I thought would look great for wedding season. Just timeless. So those better press plates are back in stock. If you were looking for those, they fit perfectly with those dyes. But what I was excited to see back in stock were the Hello and the Smile stamp and die set. So let me remind you what those look like. Here's the Hello and the Hello sentiments say a little, let me, I had a piece of paper out, but like a little hello, hello, how are you, miss you lots, wanted to say, my dear friend, from me to you, sending you happy, and then you get the dies that cut out the hello, there's three dies, the inner hello, the middle hello, and the outer hello, which I didn't cut out yet, and then the dies to cut out the sentiments, which I've already done this ahead of time. I, I keep saying I'm going to make quick videos, but my videos have not been quick lately. And you guys have not seen me. I'm so sorry. I have been triple bombarded at work. I have not even had time to go fishing. I know you guys have been missing me. I think somebody said, did you stop doing cards and videos? No, I have not stopped. It's just real life has gotten in the way. Thank you, everybody who sent congratulations for my son graduating. My daughter is moving up to middle school. It's just been a crazy, hectic start to summer, and I'm blaming work for a lot of it. But here are the sentiments stamped out. I've already cut them out. I've already die cut two layers of the hello. There is a third shadow layer, which I did not cut out. So you get the hello dies with the two additional, so three layers to the hello, so two additional shadow layers, the stamps and the die. So you get all of that with the Lisa Horton hello. There's also smile. There is the better press plate spotlight circle duo. So you get these stripes, which I already have on my better press. We're going to do that one. And then you get these kind of dots, which I think are really cool looking, very um, modern. I love these. So these are in stock now. I already did another one of the layered iris. This time I did it in orange. Watch my previous video where I did it with the smile sentiments and I did it in purple. So I already did a card with the smile and I did it in purple and I said, I'm sorry, the smile was sold out. Well, it's back in stock now, but we're gonna use the same flower and I'm bringing in the scallop label tagged etch dies. So I've already pre-cut everything. So what we're gonna do here to save time and forgot to mention, I keep bringing in the ands, ands, and. There are some new gems in stock. So I don't remember if I showed you guys these or not. New gems in stock, new colored, peach blush, peridot, emerald, capri blue, graphite, berry, Smoky Topaz, Orchid, and Denim. If you have not tried these, there's 108 self-adhesive, so you don't need to add any glue. And they are um, a couple different sizes in here. So you have real tiny ones, some medium ones, a little bit larger, and then some big ones on here on the end here. So these are great to add as some accents, but um, Spellbinders already had some nice colors, so this is rounding off some of those colors. So some new color essential gems. I love to add the bling bling. That's going to go great with the new butterflies. So we have the hello. We also have the smile back in stock as part of the Lisa Horton collection. Let's get into the better press. So I have my better press spotlight circle plate in the middle here. This is the one with the stripes. And I was thinking of kind of a, like a sunset scene. So I'm going to use some ombre colors of better press inks here. If you have Lisa Horton interference inks, they also work beautifully on the better press. Um, 
I have my platinum machine here. Let me just move that out of the way so you can see me ink up. Um, but the Lisa Horton inks are very shimmery and very pretty. But just because these are smaller, I'm going to go with the smaller ink. So I'm going to use some Tuscan, which is kind of a, a yellowy. Actually, let me swipe on some scrap paper here. That's kind of a golden yellow. And saffron is a lighter yellow. So I'm going to go with saffron. And I think I'm going to go with that one up top here. Okay. Then I think I'm going to add some tiger in the middle here. And I am going to kind of overlap a little. tiger and then I'm gonna add clay yeah a little bit of overlapping and at the very teeny tiny bottom some strawberry okay and I have my better press paper ready to go. I'm going to line that up and we're going to run that through our shimmering lilac platinum. Oh, so pretty. All right. to die cut that out. So I'm going to bring in my cutting plate. So we have our A plate, B plate, bottom cutting plate, and then I have one of my scallop dies here. And I'm going to center that and I'm going to use a little bit of tape. Actually, I'm going to kind of have that kind of centered like that. So I'm going to use a little tape Hold that, and then we're going to cut that up. By the way, I flipped my plate over. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of die cutting. So you want to flip these plates to try to get them to cut evenly on both sides. Try to make sure that is pretty centered and straight. Put my top plate on. And because this is better pressed paper, it is normal to hear cracking anytime you do die cutting, but I am going to run it through twice because the better pressed paper is soft and thick. Hopefully that did cut through. It looks like it did, perfect. And now it's just assembling all of my pieces. So I have my card base. And you see what I did with my papers? I tried to cut my 
card or my die cut pieces out of the center and then I cut my die out of the outside so I can reuse that piece of paper but I die cut out of the outside and now I can layer this over top of that like that And I did go two sizes down because I wanted a lot of that kind of orange to peek through. And I think this, the orange layer is the second size down from the card side. By the way, these match the new 3D embossing folders, I think. This is the scallop labels tagged at etched dies, and I think it matches the mushroom one. I'm pretty sure it matches the, the new 3D mushroom embossing folder, the um, the cut at 3D cut and emboss folder, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure it does. All right, so then we have our iris. See how that color scheme kind of goes together there? And then we have our sentiment. I just have to decide where I want everything. So we have a little hello. Hello from me to you. Hello, miss you lots. Sending you a happy hello. Hello, my dear friend. Hello, how are you? Wanted to say hello. Let me glue all of this down and then we'll figure that out. I do like the way that looked. Let me do the hello first. So, side note, how many of you have caught up on the new season of Bridgerton? Ooh, I read the books. It is steamy. Very steamy. By the way, this is all the same color of orange cardstock in the back and the flowers. And I just used some ink and some blending brushes and just inked the orange. You can also ink some of the green as well if you wanted to, but I didn't use multiple colors and I just used yellow cardstock and green star talk. Guard, I can't talk, green cardstock. So one color of green, one color of orange, and one color of yellow, and I just used ink, same color yellow, same color of green, to give it a little bit of dimension if you wanted to do that instead of cutting multiple colors of cardstock. So up to you. Okay, so I think hello, my dear friend, is gonna work out for me. It fits into the white space perfectly here. And then I save, somebody said, what do you do with your sentiments? I save the extra sentiments in with my little storage bag. That way they're there and I have them for next time. Just my little tip. And then 
I think I want to add some of these little gems. I like that peridot color, the little green. I think that will give it a little bit of extra pop. Where'd I put my pokey tool? Here it is. And again, these are all over at Spellbinders. I will put the link down below. And you can order from Spellbinders or Spellbinders UK. I like to go in odd numbers and I like to go in a Z or triangle formation. And I like to go like big, small, medium, big, small, and like do three to five. So I will go like big, small here. And then I will do another medium one over here. So I'll do triangle, one, two, three, and then I'll do two more over here. Like that. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and they're in a triangle formation. And they're odd number of them. And there we go. So Lisa Horton products back in stock over at Spellbinders. Go check them out. These stamp and die combo sold out right away. Again, there is hello and smile. Um, I thought they had the other one out too, but... Of course, you know when you're crafting, everything ends up under. Oh, here it is. Here is the smile. But it's the same concept. It's a stamp and die. And I'll link the video in the description for you so you can go check that one out. That one was a purple iris. And my sister's birthday's next week, so don't tell her. But I already stuck it in the mail to her. Um... It says, smile is the best medicine. You make me smile. It's your special day. It looks good on you. Um, uh, it's your birthday. So I made a birthday card with a purple iris, and I stuck that in the mail for my sister's birthday next week. So that's that one. And again, you get the, dot, you get the stamp. You get the dies to cut those out. And then you get the smile layer. And then you get the two shadow layers. So... These sold out very quickly. They are back in stock. So you get all of this. And then the Hello, which is what I just used, is Smile, a little hello. How are you? Miss you lots. Wanted to say, my dear friend, from me to you, sending you a happy... And again, it's all together. It's not a buy the stamps and the die separate. It all comes together. So again... You get the stamp, you get the dies to cut out the stamp, see, matches perfectly. And then you get the hello, and you get the two shadow layers. So on this one, I cut out the hello and the first shadow layer, which is the green, and I did not cut out the second shadow layer. So you have another shadow layer you can go out even around this even more if you wanted to. So go check it out. If you had fun watching me make this card, and it did not take me a half an hour because I did everything ahead of time. Please give me a thumbs up if you want to go do shopping so you don't miss out again. I will have the links down below. I appreciate you guys. By the way, if you have not joined my little group on Facebook, we are called the Foiling Snobs Club. You do not have to do foiling. But if you do own a Glimmer Hot Foil Machine or a... Um, Go press and foil machine or a Gemini um, foiling machine, any hot foil machine, you can also hot foil these better press plates. So you can hot foil these better press plates. But our group is called the Foiling Snobs Club. We are pretty close to 10,000 members. So I will be doing some giveaways over there once we hit 10,000 members. So I would love for you to join us. We encourage all kinds of crafting. You do not have to be in foiling to join our group. We do any kind of crafting. So card making 
making, scrapbooking, any kind of creativity. We are not a craft sponsored group. We are just a crafters group. So please join us over at Foiling Snobs Club on Facebook. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would be honored to have you as a new subscriber. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. Don't forget the thumbs up before you leave. Bye, guys.